Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel! Today I'm hosting Hot Pot for a few of my relatives and I'm gonna bring y'all along with me to buy the ingredients, uh, do the prep and I'll just share a little bit more about you know the general process and what my thoughts are after this whole thing. It's my first time hosting Hot Pot so I think there will be some mistakes I'll make along the way and some things that I will learn to do better in the future. So if you guys are gonna host Hot Pot anytime soon or are considering to host Hot Pot at your place, well, just follow along and maybe you'll get some inspiration here and there. So yeah, let's go! Hi guys! I just settled my groceries list for the hot pot and I really admire people who host people for hot pot now. I didn't know it was going to be so much work. So in my grocery list, I have a long list of things. There are already things that I have in my fridge, so um, I will leave that out. But what I need to buy, sliced beef, assorted vegetables, Chinese spinach, assorted mushrooms, baby bamboo shoots, um, fish, abalone, other seafood, uh, shrimp hua, like xia hua, which is a uh, mashed up shrimp which you can just like squeeze out, crab stick, or like crab stick equivalents, balls, like fish balls or whatever, balls, meat balls, or dumplings, uh, ling ling juan, which is dry fried soy skin or something along those lines um, instant noodles for steamboat the ones that don't get too soft very quickly uh, coriander for the dipping sauce um, and drinks so I don't think I'll get the drinks today because it's too heavy mm. so assorted vegetables and assorted mushrooms I would prefer to get individual types of vegetables and mushrooms but the thing is there's not a lot of people coming tomorrow so in total there's seven of us and assorted is the only way to get a variety with like smaller portions I'm not sure what they have like what variety they have but we'll just go and check it out Hi I'm back okay so I'll just go through what I bought today so I went to three main places Scarlet, which is a Chinese supermarket, NTC, which is like a local supermarket, and what's the last place? Don Donki, which is a Japanese supermarket. So Donki is definitely more expensive, but anyway, we'll start with that. So uh, I bought a few things from there. Let's see. Okay, the first thing is this, which is the Angus Kata Rozu chuck roll shabu shabu so it's basically beef la, beef shabu shabu it's more than enough I think for 7 people so that's the first thing um, the second thing is this uh, spinach Japanese spinach so I decided to buy this instead of Chinese spinach because the ones at NTUC just looked a bit like not very fresh so I decided to get this instead I am not very sure if they are the same thing, but they look the same lah, so probably taste the same as well. Okay, then I got this, and then the last thing I got, oh, I've got broccoli as well. I don't know why I got broccoli from Donkey instead of NTUC, but since I was already at the spinach section, I might as well. So yeah, I got this furu furu. So cute. And then... Uh, these frozen half shell scallops. There are, I don't know how many pieces inside. There are, okay, 9 to 12 pieces inside. So for, so for the seafood, I am only planning to use the prawns that I have at home, the scallop, and then I bought like xia hua as well, which is minced minced shrimp paste? shrimp paste yeah so these are the only things that I bought from Donkey the beef was 1980 wow so expensive the beef was 1980 the spinach was 390 broccoli was 350 and the half shell 
the frozen half shell scallops were 1380 so it totaled up to 4105 Super expensive, but of you know, course, this is life. Okay, so these were my buys of donkey. Then I went over to Scarlet, which is the Chinese supermarket. Usually they sell like different kinds of vegetables, but the Scarlet at Waterway Point is super small, so they didn't really have much variety. And I ended up only buying two things from there, which is this sauce, it's a dipping oil, I think it's sesame oil, and then it's Hai Di Lao brand. Uh. And then um, spicy barbecue seasoning, which is like the chuan chuan seasoning. So you can dip your hot pot into this as well. So I thought it was quite helpful because I have a lot of sauces, but I don't have like dry dipping stuff. I wanted to buy minced garlic as well. They have the packaged minced garlic, but I can just mince it at home. Why would I waste money, right? So I didn't buy that. So these two, um, I can't read Chinese la, but the Hai Di Lao one was one sixty. It's three for four dollars, and they actually have a variety of different types of dipping sauces. But there were two extra dipping sauces uh, that my grandma passed to me, so I didn't need so many, so I just bought one. And then this one, which is the Chuan Chuan seasoning, was two ninety. So the last place I went to was NTUC and it's very strange because I thought NTUC would have a lot of things right but they didn't. So very very frustrating but this is what I got. I got one true chicken collagen soup. I think this should be enough for the entire day because I'm having two bases. So one is the spicy mala one which I'll use the Hai Di Lao packeted one which I already have and then the other one will be the chicken collagen soup the second one is Ling Ling Jue which is this it's a soy roll thing la. but they call it croissant shaped ring roll very cute then um, I brought Two Xia Huas as well, which uh, oh frozen shrimp paste, so that's what they call it. Frozen shrimp paste. I brought two just in case. Uh it's not enough, but I think one should be more than enough. The other one you can actually make a lot of things with it. If you go into Xia Hong Shu, you'll see a lot of recipes with Xia Hua. It's not just for soup, you can even just like squeeze it out and then pan fry it. So I'll try to do that if I have extra uh, left over. And then uh oh the mushrooms, and then I bought mushrooms. I didn't see any assorted mushrooms in NTUC, and the assorted mushrooms in Donkey, right, were like not very nice, and the assorted vegetables had mushrooms inside, but the vegetables were more of like the suki, sukiyaki? I don't know, the, the Japanese type of uh, hot pot, right? Um, which is not very compatible with like Chinese style hot pot, so I didn't buy the assorted one instead. So I bought individually. So I went to NTUC and I bought um, king oyster mushrooms. And I saw this, which is like a bit special la. So I bought it anyway. This is regular oyster mushroom, but it's pink. So if y'all can see, it's pink. So pretty. Yeah, I only bought it because it's pink la. So it totaled up to $34. I also bought some disposables from SKP. So I walked past SKP and I bought disposables. So I bought biodegradable bowls. This is spaghetti bowls because I didn't want to wash bowls. Okay, so biodegradable bowls, biodegradable Chinese spoons for the soup, and biodegradable plates. Let me talk about the things that I didn't manage to buy. I didn't manage to buy the Hai Di Lao fish. So the scallop was damn small, so they didn't have it. And cold storage has it, so I'll go cold storage later. Um, baby bamboo shoes did manage to find that as well. Noodles, did find suitable noodles and uh, coriander. There wasn't coriander anywhere. So I will go to cold storage to find the coriander. If not, I will go to another NTUC. I didn't buy drinks as well because it's too heavy and I will just wait for my boyfriend to drive me to buy drinks. That's all. Bye! Hello. I am back with my last minute grocery shopping. So what I bought... I bought this. This is like the topoki with filling inside. Um, topoki is basically rice rice cakes. It's like rice cakes with filling inside, but this is like the Chinese version. Uh. What's this? 
it's quite good with hot pot. Uh, I got this from Scarlet, but I forgot how much it was. I don't know where's my Scarlet receipt. Then we went to NTUC to get coriander. So fair price finals at Amokyo. which will be for the condiment section and I think that's oh and then we also got this clear chicken broth to top up the soup later so total the total that we spent I don't know where's the receipt I don't know where's the receipt whoops okay uh yeah then we went to cold storage and we got other stuff we wanted to get the Hai Di Lao sliced fish but they ran out of it, so we didn't get that. And we got this instead, so cheese tofu. Um, crab sticks. What's well, hot pot without some processed food, right? And then lastly, we got Bai Chai. So we got the Korean version, so one bok cabbage. Got half because this is huge. I don't think we can finish this. What? Oh, sorry. The crab sticks were actually $8. This is extremely expensive for crab sticks. So we are going to start by cutting up the condiments first so there's no contamination because this can be eaten raw. So there's the coriander, the chili padi, and spring onion. I'll take all these three out. Hello. Hi there. So after I cut them up, I will put them into these bowls so later people will just scoop what they need into their own dipping sauce bowls. So with the coriander, you have to cut off the roots first and then my advice for you is to just cut everything together so you don't have to do it one by one. Anyway, it doesn't have to look beautiful or perfect. This will save a lot of time. I personally really like to chop garlic. I like the experience of it. But if you're short on time and you don't like to do it, just buy the Hai Di Lao chopped garlic from Scarlet. Another advice, when it comes to chili padi, don't be stubborn like me. Just use gloves. If not, your hands are gonna sting for days. Now that we are done with the coriander, chili and garlic, we are going to move on to the vegetables. So vegetables wise, I got uh, broccoli, whole cabbage, and Japanese for the cabbage, you can rinse the wedges in a colander under running water and then just shake them dry. So this really helps to save a lot of time. I'm going to put the cut up napa cabbages here. So I will leave it here first. So after I cut it, I will just start to transfer. For the spinach, I just need to cut off the roots and we're good to go. For the vegetables, just bunch it up together and cut it together because if you do it one by one like me, you are wasting a lot of time. I have no idea why I did that but I really regret it so much. I realised that for broccoli, people don't really keep the stem but I find that the stem is actually quite nice. I'll usually just slice it up into thinner slices and then serve it together with the broccoli leaves. Transferred it to a smaller plate so that I can put spinach on the other one. So this one comes here. These are three mushrooms I'll be using. Inoki mushroom, this is pink oyster mushroom and then this is king oyster mushroom. Yes. 
For carbs, we actually bought fried rice and just heated it up. It's quite low effort and surprisingly, a lot of people ate the fried rice. Okay, this is a really very important tip. Quail eggs are very difficult to peel. So if you guys don't have anyone who really particularly likes quail eggs, then just don't buy it. If you can find like already cooked and peeled versions of quail eggs, then please buy it because this is really one of the most painful steps of this whole preparation. Okay, now we're done with the quail eggs. So the last bit is to fill these up with all these sauces. And these are already done just now. Okay, so some tips for condiments. After the end of the hot pot, I realized that the so-called fancier sauces that I bought from the high dealer packaging was not really very popular. No one even used it at all. Uh, sesame oil, soy sauce, and dark soy sauce were the most popular ones. Not many people touched the coriander. Chili putty sometimes, and garlic occasionally, but yeah, just prepare the basic sauces like light soy sauce, dark soy sauce, chili padi, and um, garlic will do. One day before my hot pot, I actually went for a birthday party and they had these table covers that were disposable and they had extra so I brought one home. It was one of the best things that I prepared that day because hot pot is quite a messy affair. You have sauces dripping everywhere, soup dripping everywhere, um, some of the ingredients will be flying around as well so this really helps keep your table clean and it makes cleanup so much easier so now we have the others which is the processed food so this is like uh, cheese and other fillings topoki and then we have the quail eggs which i peeled just now and then now we're gonna put the crepe sticks and cheese tofu inside I also wanted to share this multi-layer tray thing that I got from Shopee for the hot pot. So if you can see, my vegetables, mushrooms and other processed foods are on these small little trays. This is a multi-layer tray thing that I got from Shopee and it's very helpful because not only is it space efficient, it's actually very practical as well because for hot pot, sometimes the difficulty is when you pick up the ingredients and when you're moving towards the pot, it drops. Right, so this one you can actually remove the trays and then bring it towards the pot and then uh, put the ingredients in. So for the last part, we plated the seafood and the meats. So for seafoods, I had scallops, prawns and also prawn paste. And then for meats, I had two different cuts of beef, pork belly. Yeah, that's all. So after the session, I realised that people didn't really touch the seafood, especially the prawns and the scallop, the things with shells, maybe because it's more difficult to eat. But the shrimp paste was very popular, so we ended up using up both packets of shrimp paste. So if you have to choose between shrimp paste and actual prawns, just use the shrimp paste. Yeah, you can buy more of it. Meats are also very popular. In total, I bought 1kg worth of meat for 7 packs and it was just nice. And after three long hours of preparation, everything was done. I don't think it will take three hours if I were to prepare it again, now that I've kind of done it once and learned a few things here and there. In terms of portion, right, everything that I bought and shared with you guys, it was sufficient for seven packs. I didn't use up all the topoki, crab stick, and half the napa cabbage, but just for some reference lah. One last tip that I want to share with you guys is regarding the collagen broth. If you guys are going to buy the true collagen broth, do take note that you're not supposed to mix it with other broth or water, if not it'll be diluted, so buy more packets of that. And yeah, that's all! I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned a thing about two. Thanks for watching! If you want to see more of these videos, like, subscribe and comment in the comment section below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!